you guys it's rachel here <sighs> good morning it's morning probably around nine in the morning i i believe i'm in here trying to clean the garage for the fourth time um i'm doing laundry right now my daughter has this absolutely horrendous habit of um she uh she takes things out of, good Lord, come on light. She takes things out of the house and just throws them on here, which, which is very annoying, um, but is what it is. Just got done feeding the puppies, watering the puppies. Um, they're doing really good. This is the fat crew. I moved all the fatties over here. Those are my little chubby babies. They're my chunky booties. This is my bully dog. Okay, it's a joke, you guys. I know somebody's gonna be like, Rachel's breeding bullies. She's mixing dogs. She's she's doing this and that. We just laugh because she looks like a bully. Um, yeah, you do. You look like a bully dog. Why you look like a bully dog? Why do you look like a bully dog? Um, so yeah, doing laundry. I swear to you guys, it is like this, this, the dogs in themselves is a full-time job add to it being a mother <laughs> it'd be enough to make you get off some medication <laughs> um so yeah um i'm tired i've i can't tell you how many times that i've, I've cleaned this out this garage out and made it look perfectly spotless and here we are again um, I mean, the pine shavings, that is what it is. When you got puppies in here and you're cleaning out and doing this and that, that's just going to happen. But uh, all that is Christmas stuff that I bought that I need to, this Christmas tree. So there's a lot of stuff that I need to put together. These are some kennels that I bought that I haven't put together yet. I hate to see that I buy things that I think that I need and then I end up not using them and it's right there. And it's like, ugh, it's annoying. I mean, it, I, I need it. I do need it. I just haven't put it together yet. So, um, anyway, so we have not been able to get Farmina dog food in, um, for whatever reason, the, sh the, um, company that we use Ziggler's was completely out of stock for the Farmina adult. The Farmina puppy food has gotten so expensive that we can't afford it. And, um, I mean, I bought seven bags of food and um it was like it was like um it was a lot it was because you also have to pay you have to pay for the food which is like over um i think it's like close to 70 dollars a bag or something like that it was, it was it was pretty ridiculous so and the, and the food for us gets wasted a lot like it's unfortunate but when these puppies are eating they'll eat and eat and eat and then eventually they'll get to this point where um it just gets like it is right now like i just put that down and it's already getting bits and stuff in it like that. And um, and even if it didn't have the bits in it, eventually they just, they're just like, nah, that's stale, I don't want it no more. And so um, I do try to do stuff with it. Like we give some to the chickens and things like that. Um, I'll give it to adults, they'll eat it. They're not so picky, but these guys, you know, they can be picky. So you, we, it, it, puppy food is not something that I'm willing to spend a fortune on because a lot of it gets wasted. Um, yeah, if you had like an older dog, obviously that's different. But these puppies like this, we have we deal with a lot of waste. Now you would say, you could say, oh well, you know, feed less, uh, and that would be true. However, puppies are finicky, and so like some of them are going to be like super fat. Like this one here, she ate a whole lot, but like this one over here is eating now. But they they just Angie, <laughs> you're so cute. I see you. I see you dancing. I see you dancing. What did you dancing? I see you. I see you. Um. So anyway, so they eat at different rates. You can't just, you can't do that because then you'll, you'll have some that'll fall behind. So you really do need to leave the food in, unfortunately. So we've switched to Victor. Um, there's a lot of rumors about Victor. I've seen that, um, at least within the breeding community, a lot of people focus on the blood meal. This, um, does not have blood meal in it. They have two formulas that don't have blood meal in it. Um, in my opinion, this one's the best. And I actually really like this food right now. Um, I switched my dogs over cold turkey because, like I said, they were completely out of stock for the diamond. And I've not had any diarrhea. I've not had any issues with it. Um, I've been able to get weight um, back on dogs that, like, for example, Zoe had lost a lot of weight because she wasn't feeling well. 
and um, that got weighed on her very quickly. So I really like a food like that because it means that there's a lot of nutrition in it and they're able to, to, to put the weight back on. Um, so this I need to take down. We, we were using this when the puppies are smaller to put them into as we clean this out. Um, need to break that down because now I just switch them. I just put them boop, boop, and then clean it that way. So a lot, a lot of work still to do um, in here. Um, but you know, it's just one more thing on my list, you guys. I mean, heck, I just moved in here, what, July? So, um, God, I don't even remember. I feel like I actually moved in, yeah, like the end of July. Um, and then like, it may have even been like August 1st. I think I left July 29th and then we got here August 1st. So, um, in like what, I've been here three months. So it's, it's, a, it's a lot, maybe four months, I don't know. My days get, I've been working so hard, my times get mixed up. So well, anyway, it's a lot. And um, I bought that so that I can start burning a lot of the cardboard that we have left over from all the boxes, from buying stuff. Um, so yeah, it's, it's gonna be a day. Bought that because I needed a freezer. These are some lights for the inside of the house some nicer lights there's a lot of light fixtures that are not working and so I had to buy those so needless to say um, a lot of work to do today there's always a lot of work to do um but yeah so this is the beginning of my vlog welcome welcome you'll get to see what I've done today <laughs> that's lame sorry bye hey you guys it's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo County Corso so it's nine o'clock at night. <laughs> I started like nine or 10 a.m. And now it's nine o'clock at night. And, um, and I would say that I'm finished. Um, so it took so long because the fire was a lot more um, time consuming than I thought it would be. I um, spent a lot of time just trying to make sure that um that it was safe and so um so anyway so took a lot took a lot more of my energy um so I need to put my hose up I mean it's been out but um so I swept off my sidewalks here um I burned some leaves here because there's so many of them um I completely cleaned off the porch, I know, um, and cleaned out all the front, um, and then in here, um, swept, uh, organized the dog food and stuff, um, organized over here put in the deep freezer. Sorry, I'm like, I'm like, um, my equilibrium is off. I'm like spinning around. Lots of laundry that I did. Um, organized over here, threw away a bunch of stuff. Um, completely reorganized over here. Found out that this light, actually all the power works in here. I thought that there was no power on this side and it's because we had so much stuff on here from whenever I moved in that that switch was hidden. And so that switch actually works and there's power in this whole area. And that was um, a nice little bonus for the hard work I did today. Took these out of their boxes. I took everything out of a box, whatever, whatever was in a box and I burned the box. Um, Oh, I even had like stuff delivered. I had like a purse delivered today and I literally took it out of the box right here, burned and burned the box and took the purse inside. I was like, I will not bring another box in the house. Um, puppies are all sleeping. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm done in here. Um, you know, the only thing that I could have done was potentially mopped in here, but and I'm tired. I just finished up. So did a little bit of reorganizing. A lot of reorganizing. But even with the puppies, um, I kind of moved them around. Like they were 
they were um, the other way and they're they're more narrow so I did that to make some room for walking over here oh yeah and then I completely cleaned the porch right here this whole thing completely cleaned it so yeah um it actually is pretty decent in here let's hope we can keep it that way <laughs> so um so anyway but yeah all little baby chickens flying around they are really they are really raring to go hello yes i do give them a little bit of dog food when the puppies um when the puppies don't want it anymore and it gets you know for them it's stale or whatever i'll i'll come over here and i'll give it to to my chickens they don't eat the whole pieces they, they break them up into little pieces look how cute they are look how adorable they're all like you know what they remind me of minions little look alike minions little chicken minions they are so freaking cute Oh my goodness, look at them. They love to be on their mama. Look at her, look at her spreading her wings out for them. There's even some that are underneath her. She loves being a mama. I know that they say that you shouldn't let them go broody, but she's the only one that I have that is. And she just, she just creates these little chicken armies, man. And it's so cute. It's so cute how much she loves them. And, um... I don't know. I just like to let them do their thing. Oh, my sweet tea. My sweet tea! Well. I guess that's it. I'm still going to have to sit out here with my fire. I've still got some laundry, so... I'm going to be chillaxing for a while. But... But this is um, this is the end result. This is a a day in the life of Rachel, the breeder, <laughs> and, and single mom. <laughs> so it's like sucks because I can't ask Savannah for help because this this area has really good school systems, um, but they do you know there's it's it's more labor intensive for her on her part. You know she's got homework and stuff to do, and I want her to do it. So I don't ask her for help um, on the weekdays because, you know what I mean, she's got to do her schoolwork. So it's just, just me. But I'm really happy. I like this a lot. I'm, I was um, The front porch was getting really cluttered with stuff, but it's just, it's hard. I don't know why I would consider myself to be an intelligent person, but for some reason, I'm a little hard on myself when it comes to things like it's hard for me to take a step back and realize exactly what I'm going through in a way that allows me to not judge um how well I'm doing like you know what I mean like like for example I just grew up in a house in a house where there's like no excuse for mess and so for me like having messy air like, having messy stuff is just it like even though I have every excuse in the world, just moved here, I've got a bunch of stuff coming in, you know what I mean? I'm buying stuff for the house and this and that. Even though I have all the reasons in the world to be in that situation, mentally, it doesn't change how I feel about it. And so, um, I just feel a lot better in a very clean environment, you know what I mean? And very organized. Like, I like to know where things are and, um... It just makes me feel better and so um, and it's a big part of like how I feel if that makes sense like I'm not the type of person that could be happy um, in a dirty environment I can I can I can temporarily put it out of my mind if I if if I know that there's nothing I can do about it at that moment um, you know what I mean like I'm not gonna let it make me go insane or anything like that like I'm, I can control my brain but like when I have a clean house um, and things, I don't know about you guys, but like, it's almost like I can't breathe fully until it's done. Cause you come in to an area when it's clean and you just take it, I don't know about you guys, but I do. I just take a deep breath and I just relax. I just let it all go. And I'm like, Oh God, thank God. And 
and you don't realize how tense you are in filth until until it's not there anymore. You know what I mean? And so it's hard for me to recognize that I am such a busy person and I am only one person that sometimes I have to prioritize um, other things. And that means that sometimes a mess is going to get left. You know what I mean? Like I had a mess on my floor from opening up boxes that, uh, for a fireplace in my bedroom. And, um, and so there was like mess downstairs and I would just walk past it and just be like, Oh my God. And, but unfortunately I couldn't do anything about it because literally, um, we were running out the door, um, to take her to school. And then I had a vet appointment. And so it was just so much stuff to do in that moment that I, I literally couldn't do it at that moment. And, um, <clears throat> so anyway, but it's all gone now, you know what I mean? And, um, and so, you know, anyway, I'm feeling really good about it. And now that I have the kennels and I can put dogs away, like I can clean and not have to worry about it. And when I clean something, it's actually clean the next morning. And that's really fantastic. Um, because when you don't have a place to put the dogs up and you have as many dogs as I have, what ended up happening was that even though I would clean and I would do all this stuff, the dogs, just the sheer presence of the dogs, letting them go to the bathroom outside, walking back in, all the dirt that they would track in, all the leaves that they would track in, all the hair that would come off, they'd be rolling around and all of that stuff and everything that would happen. Um, and then of course, you know, if they get into anything, which they're, they're dogs or puppies, you know, a lot of them are puppies, they're gonna, they're gonna chew things up every now and again, which isn't the end of the world. But times that by as many dogs as I have, and I'm a single mom and I'm busy, it, it just, sometimes it felt like, like a cycle where I was living the same day every day. You know what I mean? I would wake up, clean the kitchen, sweep and mop the kitchen, like every single day. You know what I mean? Like there's just, that, that's just, no, no. Like even if you had all the time in the world to do that, why would you want to? You know what I'm saying? Like, why would you want, like, there are better ways to spend your time. You know what I mean? And so having this is perfect because I can get everything cleaned up, da, 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 and then I can bring the dogs in and I can watch them and I can manage them and I don't have anything else to do. I'm not micro, you know, I'm not like um, uh, multitasking where I'm like cleaning something and then they're in the other room. Like, no, everything's already clean. They come inside and I'm watching them. And if they do something, I clean it up right then. And it suddenly becomes a very manageable situation. And, and I just feel so much better. So, so anyway, so, um, so yeah, so that's what, that's where we're at. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll talk at you later. Bye.